Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use ClickUp for marketing agency for marketing and also I'm going to show you how you can use it for content planning. We are going to create everything in this video. So let's start. It's gonna be fun. The first thing you want to do is you simply click new space here and we are going to add a space name. Let's say this is going to be our marketing, marketing agency. Now I'm going to click next. Let's say I'm going to add a PC a space color this one you just choose the avatar and space color you can also upload your own then click next you have option also to choose uh like to share with the others or make it private you choose it and then click next here you have option to choose between content kanban and then also marketing so that's something we can do like having as a marketing that's pretty great and then uh, what we can do is just click next but of course you can have it normal you can really figure it out as much as you want i'm going to have it a custom because let's say we are going to have a weekly to do and uh, that's something you can do or we can do with marketing like it doesn't really matter i'm going to show you how we can uh, have it all so let's say we're gonna click next now we have option to have uh, enable click apps so we can have it as a sprint tags what you actually need so let's say i don't need sprint let's priorities okay i don't need tags email is all right custom fields multiple signing that's great then uh, you can have also milestones if you want to so now i will click next and here i'm going to have the default settings for views so let's say i'm going to have a list i'm going to have a board now I have option also to add a calendar, that's great. Then I'm going to also add a gun chart, a table, timeline. And that's pretty much it. Now we can also have, if you're gonna work with others, have a workload. And I created also a tutorial on how you can use the workload and also the mind map. So definitely check it out on YouTube when you're gonna write the business guide workload, click up. And now I'm going to click a review space. Here I have the space name, the avatar, the share with, ta task statuses, click apps, create a space. So here we got it and what we can actually have here. So as we can see, this is the open one. Now I'm going to click on the top right show and show empty statuses. And here you got mm, all of these. Now what you can do is to simply uh, transfer. So let's say we're going to have the open as a first one so how to have the open as a first one you would go on the top, top left on list settings then list settings here and list statuses and then you can have the marketing one and you simply let's say i'm going to rename the review on open and open is going to be review and save so now what will happen is that when I'm going to refresh it, okay, show empty statuses, it's still there. So I'm going to have again list status and I want to have a marketing. Now we got it. So what we can add here? First thing first, a signing. That's pretty straightforward. So let's say I'm going to have a weekly to do, write a blog. Okay, that's an open one. A signing can be myself. I can add a due date if I want to. Now I'm going to add a type. So let's say plus here. And I'm going to add a drop down type. Here I'm going to have option, right? So I can add if it's going to be optimized, then I can have test, scale, research, technical. You can of course like edit the colors for all of these, for research, for scale, for optimization, then add a column. So then what we can have is also the source. 
So let's say drop down again and I'm going to have weekly to do it's going to be source and here I can have uh, let's say it's going to be remarketing or AdWords or mobile or brand or Facebook like you choose that add a column again I would recommend like adding colors here I'm not going to add the colors and then we have uh, the status again drop down and I'm going to add a status which is going to be pretty simple and it's going to be done in progress or stuck so you can have it also here too but you can of course move it directly out to open running in progress concept so we don't have to actually have the status but you can have it again that's like up to you now like add a column and you can simply move between type sources status for writing writing a blog to add uh, creating subtask you would like to click here subtasks and also add a graphic for subtask so let's say this is going to be the list which is going to be named to do planning okay it's also different like if you're gonna have been marketing agency and you're going to the marketing for the clients you can also add the clients here and i'm going to show you how you can do that that's going to be fun too so status uh, then we're going to have the date but the, we have the due date here already then we're going to have the priority we already have the priority and then we can have also the time tracking so we can simply click add here plus and you can click on the show and hide and then you have option to add time tracked see so when you would click on here so let's say this is going to be writing a blog and it's going to be one hour and i can click save so that's something you can do and now another thing is a set file so i'm going to simply add um, a files and I'm going to have asset add a column I can click on it and I can simply upload the file then uh, I also recommend having a website and it would be like the link here now I want to show you something that we will do we are going to this is the to-do planning that you can have right so this is pretty much it how we can have uh, what it's going to happen, how it's going to happen, uh, open, running, in progress, concept, review, or you would click on it and then you would like have it as a set to closed, as a completion. Now you can have it in boards too. Then you can have it also in calendar. You can have it also in timeline. So what is actually happening and when it needs to be done. Now I want to show you something. Uh, first, we are going to create another list which is going to be uh, like click here on a bottom left on a marketing agency list which is going to be called high level marketing plan create a list and then again plus here list and I'm going to add here contacts or clients so <clears throat> We have the to-do planning, but of course you can have even the for your planning. So this can be the to-do planning of what needs to be done um, as analyzing data or um, do the stuff. Now you can have even your own to-do list for yourself, but I'm not going to create it here. So we can have clients and when I'm going to click on the clients here, mm, I can have like created here and I'm going to show you how to do that but right before it in to do planning go and add an another column which is going to be relationship and relationship name is going to be client so let's say that uh, you are going to task from specific list and you want to choose clients this is really important let's say that you're working writing this blog for this client and it's important for me to have it and to see like for who am I actually writing it and when I'm going in the client, let's open it and let's uh, create it here. 
So list settings. I'm going to have a list settings, list statuses, custom. And this is going to be mm, not working with us anymore. And then uh, active clients. and click save. Now I would go uh, on the bottom right, on top right show, empty statuses and active clients. Let's say there is going to be Marcus client, right? I can sign it. I can have the due date. I can have the priority. Now I'm going to simply add a um, phone number. Then I'm going to add an email. Then when I have the email, I'm going to simply add also, uh, like, let's say what we can even add here, like a text information about the client, like critical ones. And now I can also add the columns for, mm, let me show you what I used for my CRM here. Yeah, we can have the, like also the type. Mm -hmm. That's what we can add there. Oh, I know what I can add here. So let's say I'm going to also add a company name. So it's going to be again, text and it's going to be company. So that's something you can have here. It's also pretty good. And uh, that's pretty much it, right? So even for the client, you can simply click on it or you can create a subtask what you need to do. So I can click here and have the to do. You can have the checklist or subtasks. So call them, right? And uh, also that's pretty good. So this is why I would recommend the clients and look what I will do. In our to-do planning that we have, I can simply go here and click on a client and I, all, I can easily assign the client for the task that we have. So in that regard, everyone knows who is it for, right? So this is how you can do the to-do planning. Now, when I go further for the high level marketing plan, this can be uh, also pretty simple and I'm going to show you how we can do it. So three dots on the top left, list settings, list statuses, custom. And here you're gonna have option to add uh, to do in progress. So this is going to be Q4 initiatives. Now, then we're gonna have the Q3 Then we're going to have the quit two and qui one. Okay. Look at this here. We got it pretty perfect and I love it. So I'm going to have save. Now again, you want to go to the top, right? Show empty statuses. And now we have option to have the, okay. That's not something that I wanted. Okay. Here we got it. So here, let's say we're going to have, uh, what we want for Q1 competitor analysis. Again, we're going to have the assignee. Then we're going to have the priority, the due date. We're going to have, let's say, a new column, which is going to be text. And we want to name it goal. So let's say it's going to be why they are better. Okay, when we have it. Uh, we can like easily connect it with the task. So let's say 
we have to do the planning and let's say for open we're gonna have uh, analyzing competitor and we can easily let's say we're gonna have the high level marketing plan and we're gonna add the relationship which is going to be task connected to this goal and I'm going to have a related list which is going to be to the planning and I'm going to have the analyzing competitor and in that way I can easily connect with um, the task that I have into the planning then we're gonna have the status here of how it's actually doing so I can have drop down status and now I can have uh, working on it on hold stuck done add a column again I would recommend changing all the colors here and then what I can do I can simply add also the assets so files now really important for me to say guys is that in the moment when you're gonna create this um, you can also have the financing and I can create also the finance if you would like just write me down below in the comments and I can look some on on finance for marketing agency this is for me how we can do the to-do planning high-level marketing plan clients you can have to-do planning as a content or what do you want to do with your team then you can have it for directly for a person so let's say someone is working for sales and he needs to have completely different he doesn't need to have what you see he needs to have the CRM but if you're starting out with a marketing agency or you already have a marketing marketing agency with two five people ClickUp can be really effective for it what you can achieve in this regard you need to really optimize it and I can help you with that so thank you very much guys for watching I hope I provided a little bit of value what you can do here what I'm missing here is a financing and the revenue then I would also this is to the planning I would have different uh, lists here so let's say I would have for Facebook YouTube uh, Twitter if I have like let's say I'm creating YouTube videos I would have just the list for the YouTube definitely and I because I want to see everything there use the relationships the relationships are a really great way how you can see how things are doing and that's pretty much it so thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye see ya